Day 8 of the 56th BFI London Film Festival saw actor-director Ben Affleck's tense period thriller Argo screen as the Accenture Gala. Actions of Iran have shocked the civilized world. Let's go, let's go! Our embassy has been seized and more than 60 American citizens continue to be held as hostages. We need to go now. It's a very unusual movie because it's a real, it's a thriller, but it's also a comedy. You know, I had never seen something that kind of combined those two genres, and I, this is my favorite thing that I've ever been involved in. Chris Terrio wrote a beautiful script, and then Ben Affleck took it. So it's funny in the right moments, and it's serious in the right moments, and, and you take it very sincerely. I got the screenplay through Ben, and I just loved it, and I just thought, what a great film right now, and a, a great time to tell this story. for any actor to read a character and read a story that is so well done in script form, you want to be a part of it no matter what. It's a great story, and uh, the fact that it, that it actually happened, uh, you, you couldn't make this stuff up. This is a big festival, it's an important film festival. Um, it's the kind of thing that when you're dreaming about directing, you think, one day I'll come down a carpet like this and they'll have my movie showing here. So it's really, really exciting, and it's quite an honor, to be honest. Michael Winterbottom's Every Day is a delicate yet ambitious study of the family unit and the almost imperceptible passage of time. I'll cut the bazooka. Come on, Robert, eat the foot. <coughs> hey, I'll cut it. <laughs> you do break your neck. The original idea was just like about a boy growing up without his dad. So the first person, first child that I met really in the family was the young boy, Sean. And he was brilliant. And then we, we met the rest of the family and they're all great. So we thought we'd bring them all in and have them all in the film. Just the idea that it was a love story set over five years, that's, that was the sort of premise of it. And I didn't know anything else beyond that. There was no script. The story unfolded as the years passed. We didn't know exactly what was going to happen next. And it was like a big secret and we were just part of that secret. You've never seen anybody age in real time on screen. You know, they usually recast the kids and they get older and older and older and there's different actors. And so to see it in real time is quite weird, quite disconcerting. For people like Sean and Katrina, the two young ones, they can probably hardly remember a time when they haven't been filming this film. It's a little bit weird, because you, you don't really see yourself that often growing up. I was, like, quite amazed seeing myself on the big screen. To be here and a pleasure, and it's you know it's great. It's been selected in competition, and and you know, festivals are really important for independent films. So it's always nice to show you from a festival, and obviously it's particularly nice to be at London, where, you know, which is where we're based, and uh, you know, and this is where we live. Director Scott Graham's debut feature, Shell, is an engrossing study of isolation, both physical and emotional, set in the remote Scottish Highlands. Casting is difficult, um, especially for a new director and sort of new sort of. But Chloe, um, you know, Shell doesn't say very much, neither does her dad, and we needed someone that would be able to express quite a lot of difficult feelings and, um, that she has about um, herself, about the, her, the, 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 where she lives, and about her, her, the relationship that she has with her father. Thank you all for coming, and thank you, Scott, particularly for talking about the film today. Blurring the lines between documentary and reality, Tomorrow is an invigorating exploration of an anarchist artist collective in Russia. Российская благосфера оживленно обсуждает новую выходку арт-группы «Война». Активисты переворачивали в Петербурге машины милиции, чтобы достать из-под них закатившийся детский мячик. И снимали все на видео. Я абсолютно... I had made some films, some short uh, documentary films before, it wasn't my first project. Uh, and in this case, uh, when I was with them, I was an activist. And then when I, uh, uh, I'd go home, I'd be a figure skating coach. And I was only uh, the film's director uh, when I was working on the material, uh, editing it. Uh, so it, for, for me, it all, was all very well separated. Короткое выступление тем, что я не сомневаюсь, что про такого рода искусство в 
современной России. Не сомневаюсь. We continue our look behind the scenes of the festival and speak to the people who promote the whole event. My role is to ensure that, um, that we work with the, the right creative people internally and, uh, and outside the organisation to come up with the most exciting visual expression of the festival that we can possibly get. We're all about making sure that more people see more films, uh, from more countries around the world uh, and to see audiences sitting in cinemas and enjoying the festival is actually the most rewarding thing that we can get, I think.